Good afternoon everyone out there in YouTube land. My name is Jared and this is my channel Mazda V3K. This is going to be a five minute fix video on how to identify, remove, and replace the fuel in water, or sorry, water in fuel or WIF relay in your 1989 Ford F350 with the 7.3 liter IDI diesel. Without further ado, let's get started. So one day you may be admiring the fine piece of iron that is this 73 IDI. And then maybe you just saw a connector here, or maybe you saw attached to that connector, something that looks like this and gone, what's this all about? Well, that's what this video is all about. This is the water in fuel or with relay and what it does is if you still have your stock fuel water separator up here there is a sensor that it's a single wire sensor that plugs into the bottom here and what it's looking to do is the if water gets in the fuel the fuel floats to the top, the water goes to the bottom, and the water is not pure. This is important. Pure water does not conduct electricity. Mineralized water, or water that's got stuff in it, does conduct electricity. So then that sends a voltage signal down the harness, and eventually it gets to here, this connector. And this connector acts as an amplifier. When it gets enough voltage, it sends an amplified voltage signal up through the harness into the cab where you, the operator, will then see a red light behind water and fuel, notifying you that you've got a water and fuel problem and you need to address it. The problem, as you can see, is if this sensor is not secured, this relay, it can hit things that are hot and then the magic smoke lets out. Now, Ford does not offer this part anymore. This is a 161164, uh, I think that's a 6-2, that last second to last digit's hard to read. Uh, this part is deprecated. It is not offered anymore. And you see that uh, logo up top there? That's actually for International Harvester. That is not, this is not a Ford part. It's actually an International Harvester part. As such, you can do some Googling. And what you eventually find out is that part has been replaced with this part which is a 1821712 Charlie 1 and you see it has that same international logo it looks a bit different it's got this kind of acrylic clear acrylic going over the circuit board that the, the relay right but this is the new part and you know reinstallation removal really simple just plug it back in. I'm not going to do that right this second because when I pulled this off, because the thing had gotten blown open, the connector got contaminated with stuff. I'm going to hit it with some contact cleaner, get all that off, then reconnect it. Then I am going to zip tie it to something so it can't wander off and, you know, touch something hot and turn to goo. So here's contact cleaner. This is WD-40 flavor. Uh, essentially, it's it's kind of a specialized alcohol. You want to use this when you're dealing with sensitive electronics. You can blast it in there and it'll displace out dirt, water, whatever. I mean, pretty straightforward in use. We got a straw. You're going to take it and spray it in the, where the contacts are. Kind of just spray it all up in there. Obviously, do not do this if the engine's hot. Alcohol is flammable. You don't want to start a fire. Uh, finish spraying that out, let it dry, and then we'll just plug it in. 
So there we are, We've got it in. So it did connect, no problem. And as you can see, I zip tied it to whatever this wire loom is, so that way it's never gonna wind up directly touching hot engine and getting melty. So hopefully that solves that problem. One thing I noticed is the retainer in the bottom was trying to pop out, so I just took my finger and shoved it back in there. I don't know if that's going to hold or if I'm going to have to put a little RTV on it or we'll see. But uh, that's it. I went ahead and I cycled the engine. It did not come back with uh, the water and fuel light turning on, which I would expect because I don't have water in the fuel, best I can tell, because I changed this fuel filter out pretty recently. And it looked good so uh that's it Alrighty, folks that's gonna do it for this five minute fix where we replace the water in fuel or whiff relay on my 1989 ford f-350 with 7.3 liter idi diesel if you found this video interesting if you found it educational if you found it entertaining please consider like sharing and subscribing that does help grow the channel and let me do more stuff like this and also leave a comment. I like to read them, I like to reply to them, and I like to learn from them. And lastly, guys, I make mistakes so you don't have to. I'll catch you guys next episode.